Hey, what's up, YouTube Verse Tactical Painter back out in Suits Crafting Wood Shop for Shop Talk Tuesday. Not a whole lot to talk about this week. Uh, it's been a really busy week at work. As you guys know from my previous Shop Talk Tuesdays, we are a little short handed, and so I have been getting in a lot of hours at the office. Uh, wish I could get out and do some more woodworking, but uh, it has not been uh, the most productive week out here in the shop. So, been able to get out here and do a couple of things, one of them being being able to get out and give you guys just a quick update to some of the things that we've got going on out in the shop. As I talked about last week, uh, I had some uh, resin that was like right on the end of its shelf life, so I actually went through and just started casting up with just a bunch of fun stuff that I wanted to make, made a whole bunch of nebula blanks, and with the very last amount of the resin out of those jugs, I did some pine cone pen blanks. So these are... They're kind of like a teal in color. I uh, I did green with ocean blue and white. And the white um, separated out in some of them, but in other areas it kind of like mixed in with the green and the blue. Um, I, I dumped them all together a little bit too soon, um, but it made this really cool color, a really nice green uh, teal color. And you can kind of see some white wisps that kind of cut through. Like there's a section of it right over here. And it, it looks really neat. You know, there's some more down of it here at the bottom. And then this part, this portion has a good section of the white as well. But you can see the green and the blue and everything just cutting through. It looks really cool. This one I kind of did a little finish sanding on so it doesn't have all the rough saw marks. Um, but the pine cones in it look absolutely spectacular. I'm really excited to uh, do up a pen in this and turn it up. I, haven't, I don't know what kind of pen I really want to do with it yet. Um... I want it to be a wider pen so it really shows off the pine cone on this, but uh, I haven't decided yet. If you guys have ideas, throw it in the comments section below. I think it'd be cool to do a two-part pen. That way you can actually see like the, the concentricity between the two halves like going through with the pine cones on both sides. Um, or maybe even like that Arite that I showed a couple of weeks back. Uh, the, the single tube fountain pen that I think are really, really neat um, that I'm going to get up on my shop here soon. But... I'm really happy with how these turned out. I did have one, um, the, one of the pine cones. Uh, this was toward the, the bottom of the mold. It didn't get down in, underneath the pine cone and that bubble couldn't get out. But um, for the most part, almost all of them are completely bubble free. Uh, when, I, when I cut this up, because I molded this in a block, and then I cut it up afterward and sanded it down, um, I don't see any bubbles uh, really throughout the entire blank, so it, it, I think I got a pretty bubble-free casting, which of course is a problem with the pine cone pen blanks, but uh, they look pretty cool. So I'm going to get these going, and uh, if you guys can think of what kind of pen I should do those in, leave it in the comment section below, and uh, we'll, we'll get that going. This one, this one was just a single casting. It's got... I think, oh, this one actually didn't have a pine cone in it. This one has a block of my, um, it was my spalted calico maple burl, and I dyed the piece blue and then dyed it green afterwards. So I did a double dye stabilizing on this one. And so there's a block of spalted maple burl in there that is blue green and then blue green mixed resin so I think that's going to be a pretty cool one so I'm excited to see how that one turns out uh, the only problem is is that I can't tell where the wood is inside of the block now so um, I might have to do a sand job across the top in order to determine well which end is the wood at and then uh, and then maybe throw this into a Sierra blank or something I don't know but uh, this is going to be a cool one I really like how it turned out I put pearl in the white, blue, and the green, so this is going to be a pearly effect uh, on in the colors here, and it's going to be pretty cool. I'm really excited. Oh, there's that wood. I just felt the ridge right there. There's a you just barely feel a ridge right there. You can kind of see it there on the camera. The light catches it. The wood's on this end. So now that I know that, I'm going to mark it. <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, it's going to be a short one this week. Um, I've got a couple of projects that I'm wrapping up. Uh, you guys saw the Lazy Susan last week. Um, I haven't been able to do that at all, and I've got to get it done and and to my customer uh, come next week. So I'm going to be working on that. I've got this ring here. Um, it's got a couple of rough marks and this little section here where uh, as it was cutting out the inside, it dipped down and then didn't cut 
it completely circular with the rest. So I've got a orbital drum sander that I'm going to go fully round that out on, and then I'm going to take a three inch or three eighths inch uh, round over bit to the top on both sides, and that'll give me it. You know, at three eighths on a half inch ring, it's not going to you know come together perfectly. It's going to be off to one side, and so but that's okay. It's kind of a cool effect. Um, when you've got the rail at a steeper angle than you do on the inside. So it, it's a fun effect. I kind of like how it looks. And so I'm going to get that going here. First thing I've got to do actually is make a uh, tabletop surface for my router. I've got to take the base plate off of it. But make a tabletop surface out of a piece of plywood. And then uh, that way I can use that tabletop to route it out. I have a router table, uh, but it uh, got misplaced in the move a couple years back, so I haven't found it yet. Um, it broke down into a couple of small pieces, and they're in a box or bin somewhere. They may even still be at my parents' place. I just don't know. So, But I'm going to get to that, um, so I can get that from my customer. I've got some stuff i got to clean off. i got a shipment. Oh, speaking of which. So I told you that I ran out of Illumilite. I got more in the shop, so we're still going to be doing resin castings, we're going to be getting some more stuff going, so this came in the mail just the other day, so I can't wait to get these out and start mixing some stuff up. Also, you guys have been buying the Spalted Calico Maple Burrow Blanks, I am going to be cutting some more of those up, getting them dried out, getting them stabilized, getting them up on the site. Uh, you guys have been buying those, you're happy with them, I think I've got two left in the shop. I sold a little more than a dozen of them. Uh, I've sold 14. I've had 16 available. I had a batch of eight, and then I made another batch of eight. Two left. That's 14. So, sold 14 of those up, and uh, I've got two more I got to ship out tomorrow, and then they're going to be getting out on their way into a customer. And uh, I'm going to get some more going because you guys like those. They are beautiful. Um, I did have to increase the price by a dollar. Um, you know that 750 was an introductory price. They're now 850 on the site. Um, and that's uh, suitscrafting.etsy.com and uh, so I had to increase it a dollar because these ones that are coming up are um, the boards are larger they were more expensive and when I calculated out by the you know the inch um, it just equates to be about a dollar more uh, so you know ha supply and demand you got to watch your pricing and stuff um, so I was able to, those other boards I got for a lot cheaper, and I was able to do that at 750 introductory price, so now they're a dollar more, um, but shipping is still the same, nothing changes there. So if you guys want them, come on down to the shop, suitscrafting.etsy.com, and uh, we'll have those going for you. While I'm doing that, I'm also going to be uh, stabilizing up some Curly Koa and throwing those on the site as well, so you guys can look for the Curly Koa to be going up on my site here probably in the next week or two. Um, on a personal front, my wife is going to be going in for surgery tomorrow. Uh, she's got to get some stuff taken out that has been giving her issues. Um, so I can't guarantee a Shop Talk Tuesday next week. Um, but I'm certainly going to get out here and try and talk to you guys and give you an update at least too of how her surgery went. Um, she's only supposed to be there just one night most likely, possibly three just depending on uh, what they find. So um, it's supposed to be a pretty simple procedure uh, and they're able to do it arthroscopically so they're, they're not having to um, completely you know, cut her open. Um, but uh, you know, keep her in your prayers, keep her in your thoughts if you don't pray. You know, um, uh, I'm certainly a little nervous about it. Uh, but, you know, we've gotten through surgeries before, and so we are just going to push on. And so I'm going to get up in the morning, and we're going to take her in, and we're going to get this done. Because it, if everything goes well, it's going to be a lot better uh, life for her, because she's been dealing with, with a lot of pain uh, because of it. So um, keep us in your thoughts and prayers, and uh, I appreciate it. And thank you so much from my heart. Um, you know, just wanted to give you guys a personal update some of the stuff that we've had going on and why this shop update is also coming out so late not only have I been working a lot at my day job um, but we've also been having a lot of appointments in preparation for uh, this surgery that's going to be going on tomorrow so thank you so much I'm gonna end that on that note so sorry to uh, have it be a sad one but we're going to trudge on and everything's going to be just fine and uh, we will see you guys 
Hopefully next week, if not the week afterward, I'll get back out here and give you guys an update. This is Tactical Painter out at Suits Crafting Woodshop signing out. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. As always, I've got videos here on the sides for you to check out of some of the other stuff that I've done. And of course, i got my previous week's Shop Talk Tuesday right up here in the corner for you. Hit that subscribe button. You guys take care. Get out and make something.